Aloha, it's Kiana Kayabia. I've been here today's top Hawaii headlines from the editors at the Honolulu Star Advertiser. Also, mahalo to Long Drugs Hawaii for sponsoring the show. Head on over to your neighborhood Long Drugs for all your shopping needs. A heart-wrenching tragedy that struck Manoa on Sunday morning as a 46-year-old man embroiled in financial turmoil committed murder-suicide. According to state, federal records, and multiple sources, he was laden in debt taking the lives of his wife and three children before ending his own. This devastating incident marks Hawaii's most severe mass homicide in decades, leaving the community in mourning. Schools have mobilized support for those affected, highlighting the profound impact of this sorrowful event. For full details and to stay up to date for more unfolding details, visit thestaradvertiser.com. John Barnett, a former Boeing manager who had raised concerns about the aircraft maker's safety practices, was found dead in an apparent suicide outside a hotel in South Carolina. Barnett, who had spoken out about quality issues at Boeing's South Carolina factory, was discovered with a self-inflicted gunshot wound. His allegations had included serious defects that he believed were not being adequately addressed, contributing to a stressful environment that his family suggests may have led to his death. The Pentagon has announced a new security package for Ukraine, providing $300 million in weapons, despite a significant shortfall in the U.S. military's replenishment funds. This move, aimed at supporting Ukraine and its conflict with Russia, highlights the ongoing challenges faced by the U.S. in maintaining its military readiness while extending aid. The funding comes as Ukrainian forces face dire shortages of munitions against a better-equipped Russian military. This aid package, derived from cost savings and existing contracts, is described as a one-time measure amidst stalled congressional support for additional funding. In University of Hawaii Sports News, junior guard Deja Phillips has garnered double honors in the Big West Conference, being named the best six player and securing a spot on the all-conference first team. Meanwhile, Coach Lara Beeman was celebrated as the Big West Coach of the Year, her third time receiving this accolade. The Rainbow Wahine basketball team enjoyed a successful season under Beeman's leadership, clinching the regular season title with a 29 overall record and a 17-3 mark in conference play. Phillips, alongside teammates, played pivotal roles in this achievement, with Phillips averaging 12.2 points and 5.4 rebounds per game in conference play. The team is now set to aim for a third consecutive conference championship in the upcoming Big West Tournament. In February, U.S. inflation saw a slight uptick, challenging both the Federal Reserve and President Joe Biden's campaign, as they aim for a steady decrease in price pressures. With a 0.4% rise from January to February, surpassing the previous month's 0.3% increase, the annual inflation rate reached 3.2%. Core inflation, excluding food and energy, also rose by 0.4%. The situation has sparked concerns, even as some costs like housing and groceries show signs of stabilization. Despite the current figures, a gradual decline in inflation is anticipated. For more on these stories and all the latest headlines, subscribe to the Honolulu Star Advertiser. Visit Hawaii's top source for breaking news online at StarAdvertiser.com and download the Star Advertiser mobile app. Mahalo, have a great day, and we'll see you back here tomorrow.